How's it going everyone? My name is Maximilian, it's November 8th, and the multiplayer mayhem begins today. There's definitely a few things you need to know before jumping online, and I'm here to help. Welcome to Episode 1 of Modern Warfare 3 The Online Warrior. The Online Warrior series is designed for multiple players with a variety of skill levels. Over the course of many episodes, we'll be covering strategies, gameplay elements, weapons, tactics, and community issues with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. The goal is to make you a more aware and more effective player of Modern Warfare 3, and hopefully by taking some of this advice, you'll start to see your stats improving in the long run. But let's start with a few pieces of intel that are going to be very important before you jump online. First up are some of the differences between Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2. Explosive damage in Modern Warfare 3 is severely different. If you had to resort to noob tubes and danger close to get kills in Modern Warfare 2, you're going to feel very lost in Modern Warfare 3. The splash damage from grenade launchers only takes off a small portion of your health, and getting a kill is practically only guaranteed by direct impact. The act of running has also received a pretty big cosmetic change and mechanic change in this multiplayer. I always thought running looked extremely goofy in previous games, but in Modern Warfare 3, it looks really damn cool. Also, activating a run does not immediately put you into full sprint speed. By pressing the run button, you actually lead into your run animation and then reach your max speed. But this lead-in is different depending on what type of weapon you have, an SMG, an assault, a shotgun, or an LMG. The heavier the weapon, the longer the lead-in takes. Knifing is also extremely similar to the current state of Black Ops. Most of the time, using your gun in a close quarters situation will guarantee you a kill much more than using a knife. And that's mostly due to the high damage that weapons cause in Modern Warfare 3. If you thought Modern Warfare 2 had high damage with its stopping power, Modern Warfare 3 acts very similar if not even a little bit more than the damage of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. With many weapons at close range, three bullets to any part of the body will result in a dead opponent. So that multiplayer Twitch experience is even more relevant in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Be ready to shoot first and be ready to shoot fast, because the way guns act in Modern Warfare 3 has dramatically changed from previous Call of Duties. Each weapon class supports a very specific playstyle. SMGs are incredibly effective at close range due to their high rate of fire and damage. But at long range, and if you include a silencer, the damage drop-off is huge. It can take upwards of 7 bullets to put someone down from a distance. But if you're going to be rushing around corners, the PP90M1 is going to serve you very well. It doesn't take too long to unlock, and its high damage and fast fire rate are going to win you many of those close quarter battles. But assault rifles serve as the perfect middle ground. While you have a chance of winning a close range gunfight against somebody with an SMG, you only be winning one of these battles about a quarter of the time. This means facing your opponents from mid to long range and the very first gun you get serves that role very well. The M4 is easily the most effective fully automatic assault rifle for starting off in Modern Warfare 3, but if you're looking to add a silencer for your assault rifle gameplay, I'd go for the SCAR since it doesn't take too long to unlock. I haven't had much time yet with the snipers, the LMGs, or the shotguns, but attaching proficiencies is very important for making all these weapons effective. With multiple choices available, and these early stages of Modern Warfare 3, Attaching kick seems extremely effective as the main proficiency you should be using for your assault rifles and SMGs. But let's move on to the kill streaks, or as we know them now, the strike packages. I'll quickly recap the three different types of strike packages in Modern Warfare 3. The assault package is designed for players specifically looking for kills, as the kills from these kill streaks stack upon each other leading to the next, while the support strike package is mainly geared towards helping your teammates. In this package, death will actually not stop your streak as you will keep gaining kills even after you get KO'd multiple times. But for this reason, get ready for a lot of air support to be in the air during Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. And the last one is the Specialist Strike Package, which allows you to gain additional perks for your kills. But being effective with this strike package can be extremely challenging and is not recommended for beginning players. Getting a high kill count can be difficult in Modern Warfare 3 because the very powerful kill streaks are upward of 15 kills or more, and I'll be covering the effectiveness of some of these kill streaks in another video. But on a different note, let's move on to the maps. Modern Warfare 3 comes out of the box with 16 unique maps. However, these maps are going to feel very different than what you remember from Call of Duty multiplayer. The developers took a very specific design philosophy when creating the new maps. In previous multiplayer maps, power points and spawn trapping were very common and very effective. The developers saw this as a problem and looked to eliminate this issue. 
it can be very difficult to lock down the opposing team in Modern Warfare 3. There seems to be an abundance of cover on many of the maps, which easily obstruct your line of sight from mid to long range. This is a good thing because it promotes more offensive gameplay, but turning corners is very risky against high damage close quarter weapons. But one thing I'm really happy to note on the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer is the connection quality between players. This connection feels very similar to Modern Warfare 2, and it's very refreshing to see your bullets go into the enemy and they drop immediately. But being a team player is very rewarding in Modern Warfare 3. Taking out enemy support will actually give you points towards your next point streak, as well as capping or capitalizing on objectives. In some objective game modes, if you have Hardline and Predator Missile as your first kill streak, you can actually be halfway there without even shooting your gun at the beginning of a match. Hardline is my preferred tier 2 perk selection, as two assists will actually give you another point towards your kill streak. But with so much support available from the Support Strike package, many players are resorting to using Assassin. This is going to be frowned upon because of the overusage and extreme effectiveness of Ghost and Black Ops. But in my opinion, Assassin is pretty good, but Quick Draw or Hardline are going to get you those kills and objectives. But the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer experience is just starting, and will really begin to break down what's effective once all of the community gets their hands on the game. But if you're looking for a general summary of the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 3, well, it feels like Call of Duty 4 has fairly similar damage to Modern Warfare 2, and has powerful killstreaks that are very effective, but can be incredibly hard to acquire. I wish you the best of luck in Modern Warfare 3 online multiplayer, and hope you found something valuable from this video that'll help you out online. Thanks very much for watching, and if you'd like to see something specific in the next episode of Modern Warfare 3 The Online Warrior, please leave a comment below. This has been Maximilian, signing out.